everybody. You've been asking me for the recipe for that summer squash quiche. So I decided to do another video recipe for you. So here's the summer squash quiche. So what you do, and this is great because it is supermarket sh shortcut too. I went to the supermarket. I got one package of the hash browns. You can either get them in the fr frozen food section or in the, um, oh, where did I find mine? It was in the, where the milk and the eggs and stuff like that are. So I had one package and what I did is I just browned it on one side. I left the other side not brown because when we put this in the oven and bake it, it will um, brown. So then I took one onion, minced it up. It's, a, it's about a cup. You just spread it in there, spread it on the bottom. And then we have two cups of diced ham. And another great thing about this recipe is if you don't want to use ham, you can use either sausage or cooked bacon. Don't use a bacon raw, um, cook it up and crumble it up. And then this is four cups of shredded, I have zucchini and yellow squash in here. And what I did is I just cooked it on the stove for a minute just to get some of the water out of it so your quiche wouldn't be as watery. And so I just cook, cooked it on the stove for a minute. And now I'm just gonna take this and layer it over the ham. And then, I have two cups of half and half and five eggs. I'm gonna mix that up. And then you know what you also do with that? You put a little bit of salt and pepper to taste. And this little salt and pepper shaker I got at QVC, I love it. And then the secret, secret ingredient is a little bit of nutmeg. I always buy these little whole nutmegs because I don't use a lot of nutmeg in my microplane zester. And I just give it a little, little bit to just give it a little flavor. You whip that up. So then we're gonna whip that up. So it's, once again, two cups of half and half, five eggs, salt and pepper to taste, and a little bit of grinding of fresh nutmeg. And then, in here, I just have five slices of Swiss cheese and I just dice this up. I just got the Swiss cheese from the deli counter. So five slices, and I just sprinkle that over the top. Make sure it's all evenly distributed. Okay. Again, I'm using my great lock and lock bowls are so good for prepping in. Then you just take that whole egg mixture, pour it over the top. Just give it a minute as it's going around so it can soak down in there. And then what I do is a little hint. I just take the spoon and I just go just to make sure it gets in between the squash. It gets in between the ham, the onion. So the egg goes all the way down into the potatoes. And you can see as I'm doing this, you notice how it's going down. So now that that's done, now we're gonna put it into a 400 degree oven for about 40 to 50 minutes. And you'll know, I have a convection oven, so my oven cooks a little bit faster. So when I do give you times, that's why I try to say 40 to 50, because my oven will bake in 40 minutes. So then when this is done, we'll pull it out and we're gonna see our great summer squash quiche casserole. Here is our summer squash quiche, all done out of the oven. Look how nice this golden brown. It browns up beautifully. The cheese smells beautiful. And let me tell you, I made this last week for my friends. You've been asking for the recipe. I even ate it two days, three days afterwards. And this tastes just as good heated up as it does fresh from the oven. So this is a great casserole to make ahead of time and enjoy all week long. I hope you really love it. You'll never know there's zucchini or summer squash in here. So this is a great one to get the kids to eat and get their veggies too. Thank you.